हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इन सब्जेक्ट ऑफ ऑयल हाइड्रोलिक्स एंड न्यूमेटिक्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी हैव टू कंटिन्यू विद आवर हाइड्रोलिक सर्किट डिजाइन इन पार्ट 17 इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव टू स्टडी अबाउट रीजेनरेटिव सर्किट बाय यूजिंग 3 बाय 2 डायरेक्शन कंट्रोल वाल एंड इन दिस लेक्चर we have to study about regenerative circuit by using a 4 by 3 direction control wall. First, the, what is the basic function for the regenerative circuit by using a 4 by 3 direction control wall in the regenerative cycles due to increasing speed if the first starting state the speed of the piston movement is slow but if you to using regenerative circuit the speed of the piston is fast so it's called as a regenerative circuit but in a regenerative circuit we cannot give the any another or any external forces or extra power consumption to a hydraulic pump and motor set but in a same consumption of the energy we can increase the speed of piston let's we have to understand by the one drawing Here is the piston cylinder arrangement if the piston move in a right hand side direction by the full stroke length at pi second when we have to give regenerative system in the hydraulic circuit for moving of reciprocating motion in a regenerative side, the piston move fast as compared to first position and it's move in a three second at the same distance. That's called as a regenerative circuit, but in the difference between is a two second. But we have to increasing the speed of the piston. We cannot give any another forces or any external forces, extra power consumption or any extra pressure. But we have to use the oil. We have to first given a first set by the hydraulic pump, and here is a return to tank. But we cannot pass this oil into the tank but we have to use this oil enter into the first side of the double acting cylinder so it's give the volume are increased and piston move fastly and that's called as a procedure as a regenerative circuit for a regenerative circuit by using a 4 by 3 direction control valve the required component part is first required HPP HPP contain a three parts hydraulic tank hydraulic pump and motor set and one pressure control valve with specific pressure relief valve required one four by three direction control valve with a mid position is regenerative it's an compulsory to we have to draw mid position of direction control valve is regenerative then after required one double acting cylinder Let's start the drawing for the regenerative circuit by using a 4 by 3 direction control valve. First, we have to draw hydraulic tank. Then, after required one hydraulic pump and motor set. So, we have to draw one hydraulic pump and one more hydraulic motor set. Both are interconnected. So, we have to connect that. Give the one inside triangular form that also mentioned that the circuit is in hydraulic side if you have to draw this dark triangle that means that the circuit is in a hydraulic side if you have to draw this is the light triangle that's called as a pneumatic side then after a required one pressure relief valve and you have to draw one pressure relief valve if the one side is a operated by spring return force or any another force is acting by the spring give one arrow direction it means that the pressure relief valve is a variable condition user can set the pressure limit as per its requirement give one bypass line 
to pressure relief valve because sometimes the valve are choke up or not in working condition then after the excess oil can pass from hydraulic circuit to hydraulic tank then after required 1 4 by 3 direction control valve let's you to start a draw one direction control valve here have to draw one direction control valve with mid position of regenerative give the three partition for that valve the position 1 position 2 and position 3 Give the inside the working position. The first position give parallelly in and parallelly out condition for the direction control valve, and the last position give cross in and cross out condition for the direction control valve. The another side of the direction control valve is operated by cam or follower. So she have to draw for cam or Follower operated condition and another side of the give operated or written by the spring. This is the drawing for four by three direction controller. We have to draw mid position for regenerative circuit in letter. Then after required one double acting cylinder. So we have to draw one double acting cylinder. the double acting cylinder let's we now draw the regenerative portion inside the direction control valve call as a mid position you have to highlight in a different color if you have to draw mid position for the direction control valve mid position it means that we give the additional fluid flow from the, the hydraulic cylinder on the another side and enter into it the first side here the point are make it a cross this is the mid position of direction control valve is called as a regenerative side let's we have to start to connect the all hydraulic component with the hydraulic line first the hydraulic pump and cylinder directly attached to hydraulic tank and pressure relief valve is connected to parallelly to hydraulic pump and motor set here the oil drain from the the pressure relief valve into the hydraulic tank this line from the mid position of the direction control valve is attached to a directly from the hydraulic pump and motor set we have to connect that line is directly connected to hydraulic pump and motor set to direction control valve means that the oil pass from the the pump and pump to the, the direction control valve the return from the, the direction control valve is return to a hydraulic tank here the oil return from the, the hydraulic circuit and drain into the hydraulic tank the first position from the, the double acting cylinder is attach mid position port first here we have to attach the first side of the cylinder into the mid position of first port and the another side of the cylinder is connect to the mid position into another port here give the another port is connected to direction control valve let's give the name for the all port here the hydraulic pump and motor set is called as a m connected to a pump and here is connected to a tank here is hydraulic connection a and b here there is connected to a working part is a c and d this is the complete drawing for regenerative circuit by using of regenerative type mid position 4 by 3 direction control valve let's we have to check how it works first the 
oil pass from the hydraulic pump motor set here the oil pass from the, the hydraulic pump and motor set and pass from the, the direction control valve direction control valve to its enter into the double acting cylinder at this time the piston move in a right hand side direction with a normal speed with here is a normal speed when the another side the oil is drained from this way here the oil is drained or exist from this way or another side of the, the cylinder the oil is passed from this way and enter into the direction control valve here this oil is not drained into the hydraulic tank but this oil passed from the, the direction control valve to first side of the piston cylinder arrangement so that here the oil from the first side of the cylinder is coming from the, the pump and plus from cylinder here the oil is passed from the, the pump first part is a pump means pump pump oil can pass into the inside the cylinder and another oil pass from a return from the, the cylinder on the another side the both oil are entered to inside at this time the speed of piston are increased the speed of the piston are increased and it's move fast that's called as a regenerative circuit you have to also mention first oil pass from the, the hydraulic pump and another oil is passed from the, the another side of the double acting cylinder and enter into the the first position via 4 by 3 direction control valve with mid position of regenerative that's it sir increase the speed of piston and piston move fast in a reciprocating motion by extended circuit if you have to return this circuit if you have to go back or return stroke and piston move in in the left hand side direction at this time the regenerative circuit are not required but it move is in a normal speed when we have to give the both oil inside the double acting cylinder that's move fast that's called as a regenerative circuit okay thank you